Hello my viewers. I have here the AC Renew in the non-pressurized can. Maybe you remember a few videos ago where I showed the AC Renew in a pressurized can specifically for R22. This can is for all refrigerants including R22. It says it's mainly for R410A and other refrigerants but you can use this in R22 systems as well. Now I'm going to also show a close-up picture of this small bottle. It's a four ounce bottle uh, because a lot of the brochures and catalogs that you'll see pictures of this in it doesn't really do it justice. Also I'm going to install some of this in another air conditioner. In this video you'll see where I used a half ounce injection tool to inject the chemical, this AC Renew, into the system. It is really much better if you use a larger injection tool. For example, this four ounce bottle requires a four ounce injection tool. I believe New Caligon does sell the injection tool specifically for this. Here we go. Falls off here. Okay, you'll need to use a hose with both sides it has a a depressor in it. And the low side is first to start to go on there. And then the high side. And go on. And, okay. Now, what you do is first make sure that the valves are completely off. I've already purged the hose, uh, the air from the hoses, so. And I can turn the high side all the way in. So, I, so my red hose is pressurized all the way to the gauges. Then, what I want to do here is I have to put the chemical, the AC Renew, in the injector. So what I'll do here, actually, is just connect that hose and open the container, the injector. Now my injector tool is a little on the small side, so I'm going to have to do this a few different times, but I'll show you, you know, one time. Anyway, you fill the injector up to about where the threads start, and then put the cap on. Kind of hand tight, and then you can put this hose here on. And the next thing you want, actually, is you want the air conditioner to be running so that you can inject the chemical. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I'm opening the high side up. Okay. So that the um, the chemical that's inside of this injector can flow in through the suction line. Okay, and a lot of times you can put your ear up to it. You can hear it. You can hear the refrigerant flowing through there and make sure that it's it's empty. And then once it's empty, you can you know close off the gauge here and then undo the section line a bit okay and that's so that you can if you have to inject more in here all you have to do is is just uh, uh, open up this seal again right here so open this Good, and 
then you can then put more chemical in there as many times as you need to. I mean, it's best if you have the right size injector tool, but if you don't, then you have to keep going back and forth. I Meaning you have to keep filling the injecting tool. Oh, be a little too much there. Let's see. And it's off to the races we go again. So we'll put everything, by the way, see I'm using these low loss fittings so I don't really have to keep bleeding the air from the hoses. Just put it right there again. Okay. Open up my high side again. Allow the chemical to flow through and in, inject into the suction line. See, yep, I can hear it flowing through just fine. 